Hello there, and welcome to Hit Scene. Today is a very special show. We were fortunate enough to be the only television station to be given an interview with Creedence Clearwater Revival. And it was a most fantastic performance these people have put up over the years. Eight gold singles in a row. And we'd like to mention them for you while you're watching these background scenes. Songs like I Put a Spin on You, Bad Moon Rising, Green River, Down on the Corner, Traveling Band, He'll Stop the Rain as a Double, Up Around the Bend, Looking Out My Back Door, and Have You Ever Seen the Rain. Wonderful songs, full of verve, vivacity, and plenty of drive. And we talked to these boys at length. And there you see them. There's uh, Doug Clifford, John Fogarty, and Stu Cook. They're just there. What are you up to currently, apart from touring Australia? Are you writing lots of music of the sort we've had before, in great propensity? Yes. What, specifically? Albums, singles? We're writing albums in great... Propensity? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a few in there. John, your last single release here in Australia was Sweet Hitchhiker. What sort of performances have put up around the world so far? Has it been a gold seller for you yet? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many countries? Mm. <laughs> good, good lord, I don't know. All but the communist bloc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the gold curtain, as it were. The reason I ask, it hasn't reached gold status here in Australia, but your previous uh, eight releases have done that, just one after the other. Mm -hmm. It's a record which hasn't been approached by anybody uh, that I can recall so far. There must not be a lot of motorcycle fans. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Probably a... How far back do you go with your composing? You began in what year? Uh, composing? Yep. 1949. At what age was that? Four. <laughs> have you recorded this song? No, but some people have said it. Uh, it might sound like right. it. Now, Susie was the first one to be put out yeah, as a But I didn't write that. You didn't? No. Not yours? No. A. Hawkins wrote that. My mistake. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. It wasn't a big success for you, was it? Uh, yeah, it was about 600,000 in the States, I think. And at the time, that was the biggest success of our life. Yeah, it was our first, what you call a hit record. And then came I Put a Spill on You. Right, which was written by another Hawkins yeah. named uh, Speedman J. That's right. But from that time on, it was then, just a right, succession Proud Mary of hits. was the first uh, original. Proud Mary have to be your, your biggest hit so far. No. No? no? I think uh, Looking Out My Back Door is our Really? So With a single. I think you in Australia, Proud Mary might have been the one. Mm -hmm. Now, album-wise, we have six listed here, mm -hmm. and they're all, it's all rock and roll music. Do you desire to write anything else but rock and roll? No, Ballads we're going to completely stop and write cool jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, you know, seriously, it's, it's just from being based, you know, personally, I mean, all of us in rock and roll. I mean, it's what we like to listen to, you know, it's what we like to play. It's what we're so, we got. I don't have any great ambitions to write a, you know, a, a standard, like, I left my heart in Brisbane or something. It's a... Did you it's catch almost, that? Oh, I sure did. <laughs> it's almost been done. Yeah. I left mine in Sydney, actually, but uh, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> now you Just see why we, we, we write rock and roll songs. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's a way of uh, getting alive. It rock and roll right. fits our lives. We're just yeah. uh, funky dudes. What's been your uh, biggest moment so far in your career, do you think? The most exciting thing that's happened to you? For me, it was standing backstage at the Ed Sullivan show, uh, waiting to go on, you know, the very first time, and really, really nervous. And there was, we were behind the backdrop that he's always in front of. And, uh, I, you know, suddenly it just hit me, I want to go home, I don't want to do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> and I, look, I looked up and somebody had written in graffiti on the back of this thing, uh, down with Saigon, up with Ho Chi Minh. And I, you know, that gave me the strength to go on. <laughs> right there in Sullivan's Theater. Oh, I see. It's classic. You're putting me on foot, obviously. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the only thing I got Rock and roll. <laughs> Uh, that's an interesting point. Just what does the Ed Sullivan show mean to uh, American television? Is it that big? Is it great? No, they, well, it's off the air now. Yeah, but at, at that time. Years. Yeah, that was the, uh, what do they call that? The it pinnacle was, of show. Sure, for sure it was. And for us, it was uh, a really big show. Yeah. Really what, what was your first television show? Can you recall? Uh, well, I'm sure it was something like Teen Beat or... Uh, uh, no, it was... Uh, getting Together. <laughs> no, what was that? Sam Riddle's... Hot time banana. I don't know. It was kind of one of those local real swell, swell And then we worked our way up to Dick Clark. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that sounds like a put on too. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> 
Hey, well, he is highly rated, yes, but uh, are you guys putting me on? No. 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 no they, sure? Actually, Dick Clark's show was a... Uh, I don't even get into that, but he right. is uh, he's respectable because he's stayed there you know, for over 12 years when everyone else is kind of... Yeah. Yeah. He's still going yeah. strong. Well, it seems that you can't visualize your musical directions changing at all. It's to be rock and roll. Yeah, we can't well, put it in words. Right. You know, it's... Uh, as you grow, as you learn new things, and as you bounce around the world, I guess, you know, of course you're going to change. And that'll just, you know, it'll be obvious, I guess. Or maybe it won't. Have you ever reached a point out of singly or, col or collectively and wanted to do something else rather than do what you're doing? Oh, well, Stu made know. a movie. Right. A home movie? Oh, no. No. The real thing. 16 mil <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. Did you contribute? <laughs> tell you about like this movie. All right, then. What's your next single coming up? Can you tell us at this time? Uh, you know, Someday Never Comes and Tearing Up the Country. Both yeah. songs of your own? Of our own, yeah. Mm. Actually, Doug wrote Tearing Up the Country and I wrote uh, Someday Never Comes. <laughs> How many countries have you seen in your travels over the years? Often, I'd say, 33. Right. What was the question? <laughs> How many countries? And what, what do you look for? We've been tearing them all up, too. <laughs> right. really. What do you look for in these countries? Anything special? Oh, do you go ahead. <laughs> No names. The most bizarre action to yeah. be found. Yeah. Right. I if, see. As bizarre as it can be, that's what we're looking for. Kinking for action. Right out, right King, out. King, 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 I don't know. It sounds good, but I better watch out. I'm not up on my Australian slang. I could be really getting myself oh, right. in trouble. You said a mouthful there. Right. Ooh, watch it now. Tell me, uh, do you other fellows have to fight John for the honors on the record label? Does he just have the Who's natural? The no, I think we get honored. Uh, we get honored uh, equally by our record label. Oh yeah, we sure do. I mean, as far as the <laughs> I mean, as far as the compositions are concerned, oh. do you have natural writing talent, Doug and Stu, or do you have to... Uh... Most assuredly. Oh, of course. So why aren't you putting out some of your own stuff? We are. Oh, we are. We are. On our forthcoming album, not yet entitled. I see. We'll look forward to it. Number seven. Yeah, number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Stu, you've just uh, come across to Australia from New Zealand. How did you find the natives over there? Receptive to CCR-type music? Yeah, very receptive. And uh, it's going well for you so far in Australia. Would you like Great. to come back again? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so. Whatever the public right. wants. <laughs> we'll be back when the moon is in triple asparagus. Triple asparagus. We'll look forward to That's, that. That's uh, his sign. <laughs> Doug, you must have enjoyed yourself so far. <laughs> All right. I sure I, 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 I took the asparagus part as being a yay in the first place. Where are you off to when you've left Australia? To Japan. How many dates up there, John? How many dates? About 26 <laughs> and three concerts. <laughs> <laughs> the irrepressible CCR. Gentlemen, thank you very much for the time. I know you're to get back to the party, and uh, we'd like to thank you very much for coming on ABC Television, Hit Scene, and safe tripping around the world. Thank you, Hit Scene. John, thank you, ABC. Bye-bye.